Hi everyone, I'm here today with a review on the new Maybelline Mega Plush Mascara. But this is the newest um, Maybelline mascara under the Volume Express umbrella. So they've got the Volume Express and they've got like a bunch of different ones. So um, the idea is they're all volumizing mascaras. And I picked mine up in the waterproof formula because going into summer I quite like waterproof um, mascaras. So uh, if you are like me, you like the, the uh, Volume Express line, and I'm always trying out whichever one they come out with. Um, some of them, are, you know, like it's hit and miss for me. Like some of them are really good, and then others I'm just like, mm. so this is one of the ones that falls into the latter category, which is kind of, yeah, I'm not, I wasn't that impressed with it considering what I'm uh, looking for. So let me just go through it with you. So this is widely available. I found mine here in Canada. So it's in the drugstore, it's in the Walmarts, it's in the Zellers. So it's, it's pretty much widely available. I'm not sure about anywhere. Else. Um, it has a new formula. It's a gel mousse formula, which is to keep, it's to keep your eyelashes, um, soft so that they don't go brittle. And it claims to have 40% less hard waxes than other mascaras. Price point, um, it's around five or six dollars. I think it was six ninety six that I paid. So between five and seven dollars. And of course, if you go to buy it at a drugstore, it's probably going to be more expensive. But most definitely under ten dollars, which is great. It has a traditional bristle brush, but the handle is really strange. So it's it's a big. It's like other um, Volume Express bristles, where it's got that kind of like egg shape where it's tapered at both ends, which is good because it means that I like using the tapered ends to get into the inner corner and, and you can, yeah, so you don't have like a big bulbous end on it, which is hard to get into the inner corner like that. But it's got, if you can see here on like right, can you see that little join mark that's kind of in the, in the middle of the brush? Well, the head on it is extremely, so the head on this is extremely bendy and flexible. And I'm not exactly sure what the purpose is of that, but what I do know is it makes for application, it makes for a slightly tricky, tricky application. So because the, the, the brush is so bendy, so soft and flexible, I find it's not very good for going low on the lash line and then wiggling back and forth right at the lash line and pulling up. I find that it doesn't, it need, it's too flexible for that kind of back and forth wiggle. The best way to apply this is actually just to feather it through your lashes. And in that kind of application, the wobbly brush or the flexible brush is really quite handy. So it does make for, um, if this is the way that you like to apply your mascara, then it's really good. But if you're the kind of person like me that lets, likes to get right at the lash line and wiggle it back and forth and then pull through, um, you're going to find it, it's a little bit tricky. It just ends up not really doing it properly. So that kind of bugged me because I really hate, you know, having, considering how many mascaras I have, I hate having to keep track of how I'm supposed to use each bristle. And I find Maybelline does that quite a lot. Like they'll come up with some sort of gimmicky handle or brush. And it's like, well, this one you have to, you know, turn counterclockwise and stand on your head or what I just, I like something that works right out from the get go. Uh, a really good mascara. I don't mind if it's got a little bit of a, you know, like if I have to faff around with the brush a little bit, if I really like the mascara, but I don't like this mascara enough to, um, warrant, you know, the fussy application method. So I will say that the gel mousse formula does leave your lashes soft. Um, it means that you can build quite a lot of coats on your lashes and your lashes won't stick together. They stay soft and separated and you know, it's okay to, to build quite a few coats. Unfortunately, you need a few coats. I mean, it took me three coats to get to the point where I felt like my lashes were being volumized. Whereas most of the other mascaras that I really like, I can get a nice, good, thick coat on the first on the first coat, and you know, go back and do a second coat and have like really um, extravagant, dramatic eyelashes. But this one, to even feel like I was getting any kind of volumizing, I had to put three coats on. So 
I did not, that's what I don't like about it. I like my lashes to be soft, fluffy, and defined and volumized. So kind of like putting false lashes on. And I just, I don't get this, that kind of effect from this at all. I think if you like just kind of soft, natural looking lashes, then I think this is quite nice for that because it does give you soft like when I say soft, I mean just kind of like fluffy, natural looking lashes, which is nice. So if that's the kind of look that you're going for, then I think that I could recommend this for you. But if you're like me and you like more of an impact from your mascara and you like that really like dark, glossy, um, volumized lashes, then you're not going to get that with this. So I was disappointed because to me, mega plush you know, means that I should have like really nice, soft, dramatic lashes and like fluffy false lashes and you're not going to get that here. So, um, yeah, I'm kind of, I'm disappointed and I'm, I'm going to have to give it a thumbs down if you're looking for mega lashes because you're not going to get that with this mascara. Of course, I know you'll try it anyway because we all do. Even if somebody says, oh, I don't like it, you're going to try it because you have to, right? You got to see if you like it or not because we're always looking for that next like, oh, Okay, so there you go. That's my two cents on the Maybelline Mega Plush, or the Maybelline Volume Express Mega Plush Mascara. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you soon. Bye!